Hi there, Kawa back again with another video. Uh, this video is going to be the first of a series where I'm going to discuss units that you guys want to know more about. Uh, you can feel free to let me know uh, any units that you want more information about by either sending me a message on Discord or just posting in the comment section. Uh, I'm always looking at the comment section. So, uh, these videos are most likely going to be talking from a perspective of Aether Raids as I do not feel like you don't really need too much help from me to clear story mode and Arena is a totally like different mode where yes I am tier 21 which is the highest rank but at the same time I feel like I'm not proficient enough in it that I should be giving out advice on it. Though I am not the best at Aether Raids I can give some advice seeing that I feel like I'm more knowledgeable in that sense and I know some of you guys are new to the game um, and this advice will be able to help you guys move along through the game especially if you intend to uh, get to high tier Aether Raids. Alright so without further ado this video is going to be about Legendary Azura and Brave Veronica. So we're going to start with Azura first because she is a unit you're going to see way more often because she is literally one, well not even one, she is literally the best dancer in the game, hands down. There's no debating it, there's no arguing it, there is none of that. Um, but I'm going to get off topic real quick and point out that uh, this webpage I'm using it's going to be a useful tool if you guys want to know where certain skills come from where and uh, just people's default skill sets. Uh, I'll put links to these tools that I'm using here uh, in the description box so you guys can just play around with it when you get there. Anyways, back to this. Uh, so Azura is a legendary unit. Uh, she's water blessed so she's locked under water and she cannot be blessed for another element. Uh, it's not that important, but it kind of is at the same time. Uh, you can worry about that when you guys get further into Aether Raids, where you have to actually start worrying about blessings. But, um, the reason why I say Azura is literally the best dancer is because of her two skills. Uh, the Prayer Wheel and the Grey Waves. Uh, no one else has these two skills, as you clearly, clearly can see from here. Uh, only she has these two skills. Uh, you can ignore B dual flying. Yes, she is the only one who has that, but it's not solely unique to her. Like another unit can randomly get these. These two are like very unique skills up here. So to touch on on it, Prayer Wheel is her weapon, and its unique ability is whoever she targets with her uh, dance, uh, the unit will gain buffs equal to the highest buff on them. So as you see here it says example if target ready has a plus six bonus to attack they get plus six to all their stats. Uh, do note that when it says bonus it's the highlighted skill like the skill will be uh, lighted up that's how you know it's a visible buff. It does not count in combat buffs because those are not visible and prayer wheel does not check those all right so her second thing that makes her really really good is her uh, gray waves gray waves is a unique dance skill where it does give the unit another action but if the unit is an infantry or a flying unit they could have to move three spaces instead of their usual two which kind of breaks the formula of the game because infantry and flying are supposed to only be able to move two spaces but with gray waves they can move three making her dance a very unique dance and um, one, <laughs> one of a kind and broken in my opinion uh, do note that because she is a legendary unit she shows up on the legendary slash mythic banner that comes out at the end of every month um, at a very set rotation because uh, legendary and mythic units rotate uh, along with seasonal units that come on the banner and other uh, potential units they decide to put on it 
uh, there is a calendar out there somewhere on the internet that someone usually they keep track of it pretty well. I feel like she shows up every two to three months, probably three to four is probably more correct. But um, if you can get your hands on her, you should. You don't need too many, you just need one copy and it's more than enough. So as you can see, this is her base kit. Uh, it's relatively generic stuff here. Uh, she has aerobatics so that she has more mobility so that she can get around and um, uh, dance people. And then she has uh, attack tactics, uh, which is the plus six buff that you're looking for. And then when she gives this to a unit and then she dances, they get you know plus six to all their buffs. So she's very self sufficient with her general base kit. She does not have a uh, attack. Well, not attack, she, um, a special because she's a dancer, she doesn't really need it. But if you feel necessary, you can give her like moon bow. Anyways, we're going now to uh, move on to talk about her builds. Uh, this is another site that I'm using where you can tinker around with your skills so you can map out your uh, skill lineup before you start building your unit. So, this first Azura here I'm showing you guys is what I would use if I was just doing generic things um, or even just offense like uh, ether rates offense this is how I would use her uh, you don't need merges for her and her uh, boons or her assets and flaws do not matter at all because she's a dancer she's never going she's not supposed to go into combat and you're supposed to keep her far away from uh, the enemy um, as you can see here, I'm using Moonbow, you know, relatively generic, uh, you use Moonbow whenever you just need a special onto somebody, just slap Moonbow on. Uh, we decided to give her Fury because uh, Fury gives her three additional stats to everything. Um, these are, this is not a visible buff, so Prayer Wheel doesn't affect her, but anyways, you can't dance a dancer anyways. But Fury here is just in case that uh, Azura for some reason uh, needs to pick up a kill or uh, she needs to like take a hit for some reason um, Fury giving three to all her stats uh, helps out with that issue because then she has the speed to prevent doubles uh, though her HP defense and resistance is still really really low she does still have a good decent chance of knocking one shot it with Fury attached uh, Wings of Mercy here is so that she can teleport to um, an ally who has low HP and then dance them and continue the battle. Uh, they can either retreat, you could teleport over to someone who's low HP, dance them with ray waves, and then the unit with low HP will retreat and then use their skill to pull Azura with them, and then they can just get out of the range of your opponents. Um, here you can see on her C skill though, it's Hone Attack 4. I understand that Hone Attack 4 is a premium type skill, not a lot of people have access to it, uh, but pre but the fact that Hone Attack 4 gives 7 is the most important thing because the buffs goes up to 7, so if you hit people with Hone Attack 4 and they hit them with uh, Grey Waves, they get plus 7 instead of 6. Uh, if you guys don't have Hone Attack 4, you can just use Hone Attack 3, it's the same thing. Uh, you really only lose out one stat. Um, if you don't have Hone Attack 3, uh, Hone Speed works too. Uh, if you have Hone Speed 4, you can always just use Hone Speed 4. But don't forget, Grey Waves only checks whatever the highest is and it gives it to her, or your stats. And for her Sacred Seal, I like to use Aerobatics. Uh, seeing that you, know, you replaced her Aerobatics on her B slot with Wings of Mercy, because there is no wings of mercy seal at least not yet not at the time of creation of this video maybe down the line they might make it uh, I doubt it but uh, if you don't have aerobatics you can feel free to use any support skill like a chill uh, a drive you know anything it's very flexible her sacred skill seals are not that important I just like aerobatics so that she can get around a little better because she does need to be able to man maneuver around the map and um, help out the team um, with their movements so this is more or less what a attack Azura will look like 
if you're on uh, iterate offense or you're just clearing any general content uh, this is probably what she'll look like uh, do note that you cannot bless her but she's water blessed but do also remember that if it is water season you she will count as uh, a light bonus unit or a uh, Astra bonus unit if you bring her um, that's just something you guys need to remember but if it's not water season she does not count as it um, as blessed by the other mythic unit so can't always use her but when you can she is very very good I bring her whenever I can all right and this Azura here is uh, what my Azura looks like uh, on ether rates defense and I'm just gonna explain some stuff here real quick um, my Azura has no merges for a very specific reason uh, her ideal IV in my opinion is minus attack the plus res was whatever it could have been plus like HP for all I cared I wanted that minus attack because um, on defense you, your dancers are controlled by the computer the AI and they have a rule where if the dancer can do five damage to a unit to an opponent they will attack instead of dance so the idea is with her as you clearly see her super low attack of 32 she should almost never ever um, get baited into attacking someone and getting killed because of ridiculously low attack anybody with over 27 resistance will not get Azura to attack them um, yeah if you get 28 resist Azura will not attack her 28 is not even that high so yeah uh, it's also the same reason why I'm here using the Silver Goblet, as you can see, instead of uh, Silver Goblet Plus and refining it. You can, though, use the Silver Goblet Plus and refine it for more uh, defensive stats if you feel like it's necessary. Um, I personally don't see it a reason for it because then you know you have more attack and it increases the chance of you getting baited. Um, another reason why I'm not using prayer wheel is on uh, Aether Raid's defense, I do not like to bring visible buffs because there's too many chances that your opponent can have uh, a panic manner or some type of panic ability and then they'll just flip your buffs into um, minuses. So very stingy about bringing that. So seeing that I don't have any visible buffs, there was no reason to bring the prayer wheel. So instead I bring the silver goblet which gives uh, plus 4 to defense and res whenever my units, uh, adjacent units get attacked by more or less a ranged opponent. Uh, it's plus 4 even if it's regular silver goblet or silver goblet plus. That's another reason why I just want the lower one. Um, as I already explained, you want lower attack, so I'm using fortress defense 3. Uh, to reduce Azura's attack some more and also to give her a little more defense because if she didn't have this her defense will be like really low <laughs> uh, and then Wings of Mercy is really standard for a dancer um, it just lets to teleport across the map and help out people uh, my ground orders here is for some shenanigans as you guys see in my uh, replays my defense replays uh, ground orders do set up some ridiculous shenanigans where my units are teleporting all over the place and ground orders is a skill only flyers can hold where they give a buff to um, more or less any non-flyer to the point where they can teleport two spaces um, well they can teleport to a, another ground unit two spaces away and I already explained aerobatics nothing special here um, so the idea is the way you use Azura on Ether Raid's defense is that you set a, um, a rally trap. It's something that you can do with other flyers, oh not flyers, uh, other dancers, but because Azura has gray waves, it extends your reach by one more. So if you watch the defense replays, you will see that my unit will come forward, rally a specific unit, and then Azura will come forward and dance them and now that unit can move again and he gained one additional space so that their threat range is way further and they're able to reach um, the back line so do note when you guys fight an Azura 
do not forget that she can give additional movement to units and that will make them be able to reach further than they're supposed to be able to um, if you guys don't want to invest in Azura you can still just use your general base kit which is this it's good enough uh, if anything you just maybe want to change to B dual flying because that's something you specifically use for arena scoring and mm, not really outside of it you could put almost anything here her A skills shouldn't really matter like I said she's a dancer she doesn't really enter combat she's not supposed to but yeah out of the box this is what she looks like um, it doesn't matter what her um, stats are um, or, or her IP you could just use her she's great on all types of um, maps great for all types of uh, events um, overall best unit in game well, best answer in game. Alright, uh, let's move on to the next unit, which is Brave Veronica. So, for those who joined the game recently, you would have gotten a free copy of her. Well, you got it from the uh, Choose Your Legends banner, where it was between her. I think what was it? Her, Ike. Hector? I think it was Hector, it was blue. Um, I can't remember who the red one is, um, but yeah. Um, so for those who chose Veronica, do know that she is not a simple unit to use because she is a healer. Uh, but do also know that she is literally the best one in game. Her stats are ridiculous. We'll get to that in a sec. But um, this is what her skills look like. Uh, as you can see, I am not even remotely trying to pronounce her weapon. Um, yeah. So you just need to also know that uh, in this game, staffs do uh, less damage than other weapons. Mainly because staffs usually have the ability where your opponent cannot counter attack you when you hit them with it. So usually you are locked into using raffle staff on your B skill depending what your staff has some staffs have your opponent can't counter attack or some staffs have um, you do damage like regular staffs so if you have your weapon that does um, damage your staff does damage like regular weapons then instead of raffle staff this would be dazzling staff so that your opponent can't counter attack because that's what makes them unique and um, as you can see, uh, Veronica here has her own unique staff. As I said, I'm not going to try to pronounce that, that thing's names. <laughs> like, it's ridiculous looking right here. It's like accent marks and everything over it. Alright, so as we can see here, her staff, when after she attacks you, she will inflict a negative 4 buff to all your stats and anyone who is next to you. And then in turn, she gives herself and all her allies, well, or her allies from two spaces, plus four to all her stats. It might not sound like a lot, but it's a swing of eight stats. It's really, really ridiculous. Because also, do note that if you um, do this and then you dance her and she gets to attack again, she's killing that opponent most likely because that opponent just lost four stats and you just gain their four. A swing at eight stats is a lot of stats. And uh, just know that her special, the Windfire Bomb, only she has it also. It is a healing special, uh, which is a little different. Um, it triggers when you use with your assist skill because staff users uh, cannot use stuff like reposition. Instead, they have to use healing skills. So, this is a one charge so either after she attacks or after she heals the next time she heals she will trigger the windfire bomb plus windfire bomb is arguably the best one because it gives plus six to attack and speed to all your allies so veronica plays this interesting duality of being a offensive support where she would like to attack the enemy debuff them buff your team and then um, when necessary, she will cast Windfire Bomb, heal your allies, 
and then buff them all up. So she also has, said, um, has Raffle Staff and her C skill is not that great. Um, you usually replace it, you don't use this skill at all. Uh, we'll go on to that in a second. Right here, we're going to come back right here. So as you see, I have four builds of different Veronicas for you guys to take a look at. So it's going to be a little bit more in-depth than Azura, because Azura is a dancer. There's really not too much to talk about. Alright, so here we go. Brave Veronica. Uh, do note that she is a cavalry unit, so she does have three movement, and she's also ranged, so she has ridiculous reach. This is what a semi-budget one would look like. Um, so as you can see, um, her stats are very offensive. She has 46 in attack, 36 in speed, really low defense in res, and really low HP. Uh, you'll probably be thinking, oh, you know, she only has 46 attack. That's not really very high. But don't forget about that eight stat swing. That 8 stat swing puts her up to 54 easily. And then your opponent doesn't get to counter attack, which makes her ridiculous. And this is her IV at neutral. Um, if you got her for free, it would have been neutral IV. Uh, but if you were trying to pull for one, I would tell you that her best IV would probably be uh, plus attack. So as you can see, uh, I switched her heal to Restore Plus. Um, it's just a personal preference. You can just keep any old heal you want, but Restore is the one heal that removes debuffs, which is why I like it, but it is a little harder to get your hands on. Uh, for her A skill, I went with Attack Speed Bond, which will give her uh, buffs if she is uh, next to an ally when she enters combat. It's a more budgety option. There's a lot of people with this skill available. And um, her C skill is Savage Blow. Uh, Savage Blow more or less will help you weaken uh, anyone around the target you're attacking. And as you can see, her Sacred Seal is also Savage Blow. So she does a whopping 14 damage to anyone around the unit you're attacking. So it's great for her to like soften up the opponent and then um, you can retreat, pull her back with a dancer, and then just like leave a tank in front for them to like run into because they just lost uh, force stats, another 14 HP, and then your tank gained four stats, and your Veronica was able to get away. And then if you do the Windfire Bomb, you know, your tank gets another six, but it does cap at seven, so you gain like, a total of seven stats onto your, you know, tank. It's really ridiculous if you think about it, like, when you in use. Alright, so this is the more uh, budgety one. And now we're going to move on to the um, more advanced builds. We'll say advanced. So this is what a Veronica would look like if you were on offense. And she's fully invested. Like, I'm talking plus 10, plus 5 flowers, um, max attack. I mean, um, attack. Uh, asset. This is what she'll look like on um, AR offense, in my opinion. Uh, I have a Veronica, but she's obviously not to this point. And I don't really use her because I prefer to use uh, the 3 and 4 star pool units because they're easier to get my hands on, to get merges, because Veronica doesn't show up that often. But do know that she is literally the best uh, horse healer in game and as you can see not much really got changed on her build except that I switched her attack speed bond to attack speed solo um, attack speed solo gives her six to attack and speed uh, if there is nobody next to her when she enters combat so her attack will reach a total of 60 and her speed hits 47 it's very unlikely she's not going to double the target and if she doubles the target they should logically die she should kill the target apply savage blow to two more uh to two well not two people but she'll apply savage blow to anyone around them 
and then you have the choice of either the dancer so she kills another unit and it weakens the rest of them or you um, retreat with her uh, but do note that this is her in light season with two heirs on the team that's why she has 51 HP and 34 resistance uh, you can do the same for Astra, just you know, replace the heirs of Nagas and obviously change your blessing to Astra blessing. So instead of having a high res, she's gonna have a higher defense stat. Same amount of HP. Um, and this one here is what I feel like you're gonna see a little more often in the game. Obviously, you're not gonna every Veronica you're gonna run into. It's gonna be uh, fully invested. But this is how most people like to use uh, Veronica. Um, this is a defense Veronica. As you can see, she is Anima Blessed. And I have two Dumas here. So she's gaining a total of six extra attack. So as you see, her attack hits 60 attack. If she's with two Dumas. Obviously, if she's fully invested. So there is a change here. Um... This restore should not be here. Um, okay. Well, actually, it could be there, but it, we'll have to go in depth and talk about restore traps, which I don't want to. <laughs> this is really complex. But you will notice that there are two changes this time. Um, instead of having a healing special, she has Miracle. And the idea is that uh, she is going to be able to protect herself from being killed because it's not that easy to one shot her. And if it takes two hits, then there's a chance that her miracle will proc and she will survive. Um, the difference here is instead of using attack speed solo, we're using attack speed push. Four is a lot more premium skill we're talking here because it only comes on um, Camilla. Uh, the Choose Your Legend Camilla that just passed. Um, and it gives her a total of seven to her stats. Uh, to her attack and speed stat when she enters combat but after combat she takes five damage and um, she can keep using it until her HP falls below 25% so if you look at it seven attack and speed puts her to 67 attack and 48 speed there is not too many things that are going to survive her attacking and that's the idea the idea on defense is that she, because of her fact that she's on the cavalry unit, she's going to run out there, she's going to hit a unit, kill the unit, catch a dance, and it'll kill another unit. She's going to kill two no problem, and then um, usually she'll probably take two hits to kill the unit targets without them retaliating, so that her miracle will be up and ready when your opponent tries to kill her. And this is more or less how I would use her um, if I was investing on one for defense uh, but you don't absolutely have to use attack speed push you can switch that to solo if you want uh, or uh, maybe another offensive type of skill but attack speed push 4 is the best option this is what it looks like when you're fully investing into this unit um, she, like I said she is the best uh, cavalry healer in game right now um, with stats like that it's pretty hard to dethrone her right now so if you feel like investing in her this is probably how you would do it uh, on defense uh, you don't have to use the double duma I'm just using double duma to show you how exaggerated her attack status and this final one here is slightly different as you can see in the sense that uh, yes we are still using double diploma but this time they're not necessary you can swap these for any two defensive mythics if you feel this that you want to use defensive mythics you don't have to but um, the idea is that defensive mythics will push Veronica's HP over 60 along with me using these two HP stats the reason why you want her HP so high is to dodge stuff like tactic rooms tactics rooms uh, check up to 60 HP and uh, if you get hit by a tactics room you can only move one space so Veronica loses her offensive ability the idea is that if you s 
see a lot of tactics between hitting her, you want her to be at 61 HP, she'll ignore the tax room, and then she'll still go out with her ridiculously high stats. So if we take off her blessing, let's just say, well, actually, the blessing still has to be here, so um, just assume that uh, it's not two Dumas and some other mythic. Uh, her attack is still 54 attack. Uh, with 41 speed, she still should logically double her targets, or it, yeah, she should still double her targets, and then um, she'll definitely double you after she buffs herself and debuffs you. So don't forget that she does that. Um, though this is a more unique scenario to run a Veronica like this, uh, I think you should stick more to this one here. Or um, keep her on offense like this. Obviously, these are max invested ones, and we cannot afford the max invested one. Just go for a regular one. This works perfectly fine on offense um, because she's really flexible in the sense that she has the mobility and she's a very powerful support by swinging stats like that. Um, though, you have to be careful. Like with Azura, she's very fragile, so you have to make sure that she can get away after she you know, does her job. Alright, so this is the end of the video. Um, if you guys have any more units you guys want to know about, uh, feel free to leave in some units in the comment section, or you can send me a message in Discord. Uh, I'll be happy to, to discuss more units with you guys. And yeah, uh, make sure to check out these links to these two sites. So you can maybe fidget around with um, units, kick around with builds. This is usually where I go to uh, brainstorm up ideas. Alright guys, till the next video, have fun.